Hello YouTube, this is OmniDito here, coming at you with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. Uh, I added some music, uh, I just found whatever random video game music I had. Tell me what you guys think of that. Uh, yeah, not too sure how it sounds, I haven't played it yet, because I'm a noob. Anywho. Um, yeah, so I have a battle here with Dangerous36M, or Rick, as a lot of people know him, and he's pretty nice guy, found him on Skype, and I was like, hey, let's battle, so he said sure, and yeah, looking at his team, he, we played, uh, like, OU with some lower tier stuff mixed in, that's why I have the Don Van, the Galvantula, um, and he has, like, Vespa Queen and stuff, which, you know, didn't end up working out too well in the end, but I'm gonna lead off with my Heatran, right, and he's gonna go out into his own Heatran, which is really funny, because it's the same set, I think, uh, I don't know if it's from Chase's database or something, but, yeah. So I set up rocks first, and then he goes for hidden power uh, to break my balloon, I'm guessing. Then I figure the uh, earth power is coming next, so I go into my own Vaporeon to sponge the special hit because Vaporeon's an amazing special wall, but he just ends up going up for his own stealth rocks, so I almost said stealth cocks, whoops. Uh, he goes out into his uh, tentacruel, and I go for the wish because I predicted him to attack me with his Heatran. Because, I don't know, when I see Vaporeon, I'm not that threatened by it, but I guess he was. Uh, I'll go for the Scald, hoping for the burn, just in case he's for some odd reason a physical tentacle. I don't know what I was thinking, but whatever. Um, Alright, going to Garnisi Elephantis, because I figure he's, you know, uh, I figured I was going to blow away the spikes. And... He just goes for another layer of Toxic Spikes, so now he's got two up, and my Don Pain's only Poison, not badly Poison, thankfully. And he goes for the Surf, and we actually DC'd the first time, and uh, we played back the match exactly as we had before, and there was a crit here the first time, and we were like, oh, well, I guess we'll see if that really mattered, because we were unsure, and then it got the crit the second time, so it was really funny. Um, it was like this match was meant to be, but uh, and we were both laughing at that point. Anyways, he switches out and goes to his Flygon. Tony Flygon, he's also a cool guy, and I had gone for the Earth Power just because, I I, I don't know, I didn't want to predict a switch. Uh, he goes for U-Turn, and I figure out later that he scarfed, because he outspeeds me, um, and he turns relatively fast, I think. Uh, I go for the Dragon Pulse, obviously, to get it on the, uh, Tentac- or not the Tent- did the, yeah, the Flygon, because it's super effective, but no, he goes to his Tentacruel and takes that hit really nicely, so I go into my Vaporeon because I figure out he's going to go for Surf, and that would be really helpful, but I should have gone for the Heal Bell here, because I figure he'd be switching out, or I could have gone for the Scald, but, you know. Whoops, wait, did I already go for a move? No, I didn't. I switched out. What am I saying? What am I doing? Double switch, I think. He goes into Usain Jolt, who I've heard him talk about before. And it's his Jolteon, and I know that I can live even a Specs Volt Switch because I have played this exact situation multiple times before, and I know that I can live that Volt Switch unless, I mean, of course, barring a crit, I live with like 140 something HP, 120 or 36, I can't tell from here. Uh, goes back and switches out to his Tentacruel, and I go for the Heal Bell just to heal off the Toxic and get my lefties recovery, then get the wish, which brings me up uh, 90 from full, not 86 or so from full, goes for the surf, doesn't realize I have water absorb, and I get some free HP back, which is awesome, then I go for the scald myself, and it doesn't take much damage at all from that, and I think here I switch up to ice beam, just peek, no, no, I go for the scald again, yeah. Then I go for the Ice Beam, I think. I think it's here. I'm not really sure. I haven't watched this match back. I probably should have. Sorry, guys. Yeah, here we go. I go for the Ice Beam, predicting any switch, hopefully to Flygon. And I get the Freeze. And he got really mad because he's like, ah, Jolteon was the one thing I had to hit your team offensively. And, I mean, I just felt bad, so I was like, you know, okay, well, sorry. I don't know what to do. I mean, I did feel bad because Freeze Hex is always the worst thing ever. And I just DD up with my Dragonite because I'm going to take advantage of his paralysis. Plus, there's not much he can do to me. Boost up to full so that way if he does unthaw or thaw out, then 
he won't be able to kill me with anything he has. I mean, there's not much that can Oko a Dragonite with multi scale and a Yachi Berry. Uh, go for another Dragon Dance. And this just goes to show you how much of a monster play score is. Because right here, I go for the plus. Oh no, I go for another Dragon Dance because I figure he's gonna go for Ice Fang or Hidden Power. I don't know yet. Yeah, Ice Fang. Yachi Berry weakens the hit and it does like nothing. See, look, that's beastly. Beastly. Anyways, um, this is how monstrous of a defensive wall Glyscor is. Look at how much a plus three outrage, plus three stab outrage does to a neutral, or it does with a neutral hit to a Glyscor. Knocked him down to red, but he still survived as a thing. Not much can survive anything from a plus three Dragonite, much less a stab outrage. That is just amazing. He goes in with Usain Jolt again, and I hit it with the outrage and takes it out. Uh, I don't know if Heatran lives this or not. I don't think he does. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, he. Oh no, he does live. Never mind. What, yeah, what am I doing? Anyways, get confused from the outrage. He goes for hidden power. What I'm guessing is ice. Probably ice. I don't know. Yeah, um, and I live somehow. And I was like, what? Come on, that's cheap. I even felt bad for him because it was really cheap that I won or that I survived that. Um, anyways, take it out with another outrage. Then he goes to Dracula and he tries to confusion stall me, which ends up working because I hit my. Oh no, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. It comes close to working because I end up. He ends up protecting himself from the next turn I hit myself, which is basically better for him because then he gets an extra turn of Fox Heal. He goes for the sword stance here, knowing that I'm gonna probably kill myself, and if he doesn't... He, he knows that... Eh, I guess he could have gone for the Ice Fang to take me out anyways, but I think he was bar er, banking on a 50% chance of me hitting myself. Uh, go for Ice Beam. Protects itself. Uh, I think he switches out after that. Because, I mean, why would you stay into something that's four times super effective to you? I don't know. Um, Goes for the earthquake, shaking up that earth, and it's like boom, 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 boom. Takes out my Vaporeon. Oh no, he doesn't take out Vaporeon. I go for the Ice Beam, and I take out his Gliscor. I am sorry I didn't watch this back. It really is stupid of me. Um, yeah, so it's getting cold in here. Use an Ice Beam. Aw oh, yeah. Taking out Gliscors like a boss. Because that's what Vaporeon does, is he takes out Gliscors like a boss. I actually tried to restructure my. Um, Defensive core today because I realized how bad of a grass weakness it has, but it doesn't work. It's Don Finn and Big Porion, it just doesn't work. Uh, his Flygon goes for the Stab Earthquake, takes out my Heatran with ease because it's four times super effective. It's like an earthquake, it's like, no, never let go, Jack, never let go. But he let go because I'm just imagining him falling into a fissure. Um, yeah, then he goes for another earthquake. I faint, and then I go into Clown Moses because he has a clown nose and he's holding two slabs. Get it? <laughs> I think, I, I like tricking people into thinking this is Guts. Um, oh wait, never mind, I changed it to Guts because I had it as Iron Fist because it was a sub puncher, so it's like all beastly, you know. But Guts is actually a better choice on this set because Iron Fist is on the least. So you know, people don't like that. Then, for some reason, this freak... Oh, I think it's because it's quad-resistant. Um, the Defend Order. Goes for Defend Order. Go for Focus Punch. Look at how little that gut-boosted Fire Punch does. Or, yeah, Focus Punch. Fire Punch. What am I saying? Focus Punch. Focus Punch does to his Vesper Queen. It's like, damn. Damn. That is a check to... Um, Con Kelgar if I ever see one, except I go for the Stone Edge and take it out in one shot. Because Stone Edge is four times super effective rather than being four times resistant, which is a lot better. Then, oh, also, I'm recording in a different place, so tell me what you guys think of the audio difference. I'm not sure. Uh, go for the Focus Punch here. He goes for Sludge Bomb, trying to break my sub. He breaks it. And get the Focus Punch off. If I'm not mistaken, it takes him out. Yep, takes him out. Aw, oh, yeah. Focus in those punches, man. Sorry. I should only try to legitimately beatbox. I shouldn't be a poser. Alright. Goes into Flygon. I go for the Mach Punch, because I know that he's scarfed at this point, and there's nothing I can do aside from getting a little bit of damage on him. And... 
Uh, let's see, he goes for his outrage and because he knows that you know he's got nothing to lose. And Vaporeon dives to entry hazards. So good game, Rick. Um, maybe I'll reface you next time. There are a lot of unlucky hacks here, and it could have been such a great match. So sorry about that one. But uh yeah, tell me what you guys thought of the music, tell me what you guys thought of the match. Um, go subscribe to Rick, his link will be in the channel. Of course, you've probably already subscribed to him. I mean, I have like, what, 40 subs and he has like 7 billion subs. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed Monday's upload. Um, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Good day, folks. Or, good night. Oh god, what time is it? <laughs> uh, bye.